Hello, Scorpios and Cross Watchers. This is your, well, technically now, like, mid October to November reading, but it's your October reading, but I'm still gonna do another one for November. I'm sorry, I'm late. Anyway, um, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is for the sign Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. This resonates with you. Cool. If not, you just keep your nose where it goes. No point more about your thing. I'm not gonna do the main name in business. I need to cut that name. I've been having an obsession of just wanting to grow my nails, but this is the only one that does well. And that makes me sad. Uh, so we're going to be with And somehow those ended up of a ha. There we go. Uh, someone wants to fight. Or someone, or you're preparing to fight somebody. It's, it's easier for me. It's, it's not smart. Yeah. So, like, hmm. I can't remember the other part, and I was just singing that too. I heard um, that song by Wu Tang Clan. Uh, oh, fuck it. Two tears and a bucket. Yeah, niggas wanna rock it. So don't work it with me, son. I go with the sky. It's a full run. Nah, I'm at Mexico. And I'm down with that shit. Sing crazy and driving this daisy out my fucking mind now. I got mine on Swayze. I actually know that song from uh, MSI, Mindless Self Indulgence. Because for some reason, like, Jimmy Aaron liked the music. Especially Big Papa. That's a good remix. You should check them out if you like weird shit. Um, they didn't start making normal music until, like, mid to late or 2000s the year 2000 anyway I swear across the I'm sorry I got totally distracted and my makeup's a mess because I slept this way because I forgot to wash my makeup off I still haven't yet I would have washed it off last night but I don't know stallion look it right there might be <laughs> there might be something wrong in the house or it's very clear there's something wrong with two people, but they love each other, right? Scorpio and Cross Watchers. Like, look at her. She's kissing his fucking head. He's just like, oh, close. But it, it, it's kind of um, turbulent, I'll say. It's turbulent, but there's love here. So that's cool. That's the vibration energy. It's just like, this is, like, you know, he's a shitty man. She's a shitty person. Da -da -da, but I love them. <laughs> you know, like, I can I understand that. Sometimes you end up loving people you don't want to love. I completely understand that. The situation, though, um, this offer is like accepting a dragon. <laughs> um, the dragon's dangerous. This offer is dangerous. It's very overwhelming. It's going to take control, right? And it has something to do with somebody who looks really peaceful, but these eagles made me think internal screaming. <laughs> Like, inter like, they're calm on the surface, but he's internally screaming, like, ah! and shit, right? So, let's see. Wants and wishes. I actually wrote on some of these cards because I was just tired of deciphering some of them because it's like. A lot, a lot, like, the majority of these cards really don't personify um, tarot because there's more there's like 86 87 i think cards in this deck i'm not sure but none of them really embody traditional tarot so it's, it's sometimes it's kind of hard um i wrote on this one looking glass but it's reversed as well as the six of pentacles um there's a lot of unfairness here so he's wanting wish for that but they want to wish not to see it correctly you know looking glass right like she's looking right through the fucking window and yet eh, that's my handwriting if you can read that, congratulations, you're a witch. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Anyway, obstacles and challenges, lack of victory because uh, someone's kind of a snake. Like, this dude looks like the fucking Borg off of Star Trek, man. I am really letting my nerd out in these readings. I'm just saying, you know, different readings, I really let my nerdness come out of me. I need to get back in the Star Trek, actually. I need to go back and watch Farscape again. I need to get my Farscape collection from my parents' house, actually. I do. I love Shiana. Shiana's my shit. I didn't know for years that Shiana was actually a black chick, and they just really colored her gray and blue, and it was kind of like nifty. And I was like, huh, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Weird information. 
You guys are talkative. <laughs> you guys are talking about the storm this month. Or the rest of the month into later. But like, fears and rejections, King of Pentacles, and Eight of Earth. Mind you, colors like really are weird in course in correspondence to the shit. Because some of the area cards are blue. Some of the water colors are red. It's like confusing. Like, what the fuck am I looking at? This is too much pressure. <laughs> I'm channeling my girlfriend's daughter right now. But yeah, it's like someone's fear of rejecting is somebody. Like, is productive, is workable. Like, I don't know. Like, this, it, like, this shit was cool. So it's like, I am the green moss bitch of the forest. <laughs> or something like that. Oh, this shit starts how it'll end. Queen of Swords reverse with the two of Fire Goddess chicks, right? Someone might go crazy. Or someone might be crazy. Or someone, well, someone's just, just gonna start stabbing motherfuckers because it seems like two goddesses are just not getting along. Or, or someone burns with gasoline and someone burns with kerosene and they can't agree. Like, it's like... Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla arguing about the conductivity of electricity. And then, like, Thomas Edison steals Nikola Tesla's, Tesla's uh, invention and gets all the credit for it, which is, that is so ridiculous. He only got the credit for it because nobody wanted to actually, like, set it for free. That's beside the point. Anyway. I'm in this family. Oh, you did. Okay. So, let's go on Scorpio and Crosswatcher. I have been so talkative. I literally made Scorpio seasons and I had to do it over a two day span. Well, I didn't have to. I couldn't finish it. It really didn't matter at this point. Um, but it's like an hour long and the second half of it is just me talking and rambling and going over the cards and shit. So, let's see. Ah, and like, also, my phone is back to recording at 33 minutes and 12 seconds and I don't know why and it makes me mad. And it's just a motherfucker. Why? I literally got this phone, the newer version of the phone, so I knew that anymore, you know. It worked. But now it don't, and now it's like, fuck. <laughs> like, it just, like, stops looking right there. And he's like, why do I to record more? Me? <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> Alright, this household seems really, like, turbulent. But people love each other, you know? Like, they're waiting for something fruitful to grow. That's the vibration of energy. Like, maybe things will work out. <laughs> Maybe things will be okay, Scorpio Crosswalker. I don't know. You were annoyed, I think, the last time I read for you, and you were really not trying to um, deal with that shit. You know? But someone still kind of wants to adventure somewhere. Like, someone is waiting, but it also seems like Scorpio Crosswalker. Someone is ready to be like, you know what? I don't need to pack my bag. I'll just put a cape on my back. Send a sun, don't give me a sunburn, and I will go. Which is a good idea because he's redheaded. You burn like a motherfucker. Really. You do not want to match your hair color. Like, look at that. His hair is literally the color of a sunburn. You can't tell me no different. He's also ripped like Jesus. Like, prepared, ready, trained for this shit. Just, I'll go to the fucking desert or whatever. Like, someone's waiting for something, but they're also like. It's like they got their foot in and out of the door. Yeah, because they don't understand what the fuck's going on. They're confused. And it's super effective. Hmm. Like, they don't know the truth of the situation. Like, it's like, it's just starting up. And they might be afraid that if it breaks, if they break it off, there's no way of resurrecting it. You know, like a person who um, would probably... I feel like this person kind of wanna break, wants to break up with somebody, but they're afraid they won't get back. I feel like this is deja vu. Well, it's like they're, they want to break up, but they don't. They want to wait and see how things go, even though it's turbulent. But they're still ready to go. But they don't know what they should do, because they're fucking confused about the entire series of events that's gone on between them and another person. And it's just like, what the fuck do you want? And the other person's like, why'd you ask me that? Because now i got to think about it. <laughs> Fuck. And then the and then the first person's like, "What do you mean? You gotta think about it." So now that per now that person who had to ask that question, you know, like, what's there to think about, or what do you, we gotta like, 
why you gotta think about it or some shit like that. They're the ones who are kind of in and out because it's just like, maybe this person isn't really... It's like the communication, there's something fucked up with communication. But I don't think it's words, you know, like, uh, communication's like, what, 70, 80, some shit, 90, at the highest percentage of our actual communication to each other, like, non-verbal communications, the way we actually communicate with somebody, and it's, it's like someone can't tell, or some shit. Alright, situation, we... Ace of Pentacles and the guy who looks peaceful but is internally screaming because it seems like this offers him. I'm writing that on that card. Internal screaming. <laughs> that is perfect. Uh, someone's too busy looking for snakes. Could be fire sign you're dealing with. Hold on, that's my boo. I'm sorry, I have to text my baby back. I love that bitch. Anyway. <laughs> I do. I really do. Which is weird, because, you know, like... For me and her, like, we are so similar and so different. It's like, we're two people with kind of similar experiences and came out the exact opposite of each other. It's like, kids that grow up in the same house. They're not the same, so. But I love that I, I fucking love that girl, man. I am very shocked at how much I actually care about her. Very much so. It's been a long time since I actually felt like I have feelings for someone. That's very honest, actually. Yeah, okay, I'm sure enough about my shit. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop, like, you know, bragging. She's not a bitch, well, she not, she's not a bitch, she's my bitch. And I don't know any of y'all type of touch her either, I'll fuck y'all up, don't take me bitch. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, like, someone's looking for snakes or some shit, the fire sign, but they're, but they're so focused on looking on snakes, maybe. it could be, definitely could be Leo, also Sag or Aries. Also, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here as well, a lot of air. A lot of fire. Need the earth, but you know, like, you know, someone's coming in, like, wanting to screech some more. Uh, did she say anything? No, not yet. She will, though. <laughs> Better. Well, I don't know if I'll even know. I don't know. Ooh, got a book. It almost went back in. Um, ship sailed. Someone's taken off. Someone should is using their intuition to realize someone really didn't want to fight. They just wanted to get away from like some bullshit as sneakily as possible. Maybe even snuck to some new fucking love to look for like you know happiness of sorts. Being like, you're my horsey. Um, probably brought him into some dangerous goddamn territory. But now it seems like they're starting something new here. So they definitely have like new opportunities and shit. <sighs> is someone worried that someone's cheating on them? Why is everybody cheating on everybody? It seems like uh, that's all my. That's all I've been hearing suddenly. That's all I, I've been picking up. That's all I've been hearing from other readers somewhat, too. And it's just like, why does everyone do such shit? Eh, whatever. Anyway. It seems like this dude is looking for something. Or someone's going away in the dark. Almost for an empress or two an empress. But her back's turned, too. Um... Her, she's watching this knight come up on this, uh, King of Wands, and he's so busy looking at the snakes, he doesn't see this cup coming. I don't know if she's the one doing this, because, like, she's not facing it, 
I mean, like, it'd be different if she was looking directly at him, being like, I'm gonna sneak up and grab that ass, my baby. But no, no, she's not even um, attempting to do that, really. And something went down my shirt, impression. And I felt like something. I literally swear I felt something touch me. I swear, Scorpio Cross Watchers, every time I hear you guys' readings. Anyway, that was weird. There's nothing going. Anyway, this is what I get for me in the witches house. Anyway, uh, wants and wishes. Look, like, six of pentacles with looking glass. Both reverse. There's a lot of um, unfairness here, but some trying to ignore that. That's what they want and wish to do. Uh, someone isn't offering because I literally fell asleep on the horse. Like, they kind of fell off the horse. They fell off the horse, so. An offer doesn't seem like it's coming. Or at least that's what they think. Or maybe they're just not offering something up. They just decided to sleep on it. Baby, baby, let me sleep on it. Oh, let me sleep on him. Maybe I'll answer in the morning. Uh, give me water sign here. Like, somebody doesn't want to offer anything because somebody looks like they just aren't paying attention. They got their backs turned, like, the dolphins come, like, me, me. And, like, dude's just like, you know what? I don't care, Alfred. You're all getting another snack. Just go away. Like, and, like, and you just sitting there looking all sad at this dolphin. Because, like, dude doesn't even pay attention to him. This dude's busy on the rocks. You know, like, someone's not trying to offer because, like, someone's doing that. Mm. And intuition is very witty. You definitely could be dealing with a water sign. Or fire sign. What is it to you? Ah! Someone's... <laughs> someone knows there's a tower moment coming between two people. So they kind of want to like... Oh my god. What the fuck? Yeah, so, you know, like they're trying to get, they're trying to get away with shit. Or get away from something. But unfortunately there's a lot of fucking trash in the sea. This is like, mm, what the, who is this? Who is this, Scorpio? Who is this? I want, I want answers. I want to know. Someone is really secure in their shit. So someone's got shit. Someone's got potential. Someone's got abundance. Someone is fortified, solid, strong, sturdy, stable, reliable, all that shit. The four of Pentacles, the power, right? It's the stability. The Four of Pentacles, all that shit, right? It's the pillars of a... It's the it, basically the foundation of a person. And they're very found. They're very wise. I don't know if they're really intelligent, but, you know... Everyone makes stupid choices and mistakes. I feel like because it's obvious this Empress is looking at this horse, but the King of Wands here doesn't even notice the horse. Because, like, he's too busy looking for snakes. This person, like, what, what am I, what is this nonsense? <laughs> who, who brought this bullshit to my courtroom? <laughs> I don't appreciate it. and challenge it. There might not be a victory here because someone's kind of sneaky. Someone's kind of bat. Someone looks like the Borg and that's not a good idea. Like, you want to assimilate? You want to lose? Like, you know, because that's what the Borg did on Star Trek. Like, they take people and turn them into machines and they would lose a sense of themselves. So it's just kind of like, you know, do you want to assimilate someone? Because do you want to lose a sense of who you were as an individual and become part of the hive? You know? You don't know. Someone might not know where a leap of faith is going to take them, but they're taking it anyway. Uh, trying to join their light with the rest. You know, shine like the sun, or shine with the sun, the rising sun. They're not trying to put any false shit out, though. 
Scorpion crossing. I, okay, so look at right. I feel like if your person were, I was just talking about this kind of in the uh, Muggle and the Scorpion reading. Actually, um, I haven't uploaded that yet because I'm still waiting for it to render on my computer. It's well, it's done rendering, and I exported it. I just haven't uploaded it yet because I need to plug my computer in because it's almost dead. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm busy doing this. I still got other personals to do. You're the person who's been waiting for a while. I need to get that bitch. Anyway. But, that, but like, in the Scorpio read, like, it was... It was, like, the the magician who I've talked about before. But I think there was a third party. And it's almost like it goes along with what I'm reading right here. Where, like, if your person might be, um... I feel like Scorpio Crosswatcher, if this is your person, it, and it could be you, too, but let's just say it's your person, right? I feel like they don't know what the fuck's going on between the two of you, and I think that's what's fucking them up a little bit, you know? Because uh, I feel like this King of Cups who has his back turned might be an issue. Because it's causing this knight not to wake up and, like, deliver something. And I'm not sure the King of Cups is doing that. Because that could be you, Scorpio, honestly. Um, you might be having a hard time opening up to somebody. Or some shit. Or they could be doing this to you, but you're a water sign, and that's King of Cups. So, yeah. so, you might have your back turned. But there's something tingling in the back of your head. And I feel like the obstacle and challenge this person, they're taking a leap of faith trying to join the light or join whatever, you know, like, because they idolize somebody. But I don't know if that'll be victorious or not because that means sacrificing who they are. And do you really want to sacrifice who you are just to assimilate with somebody? Because, you know, you have to um, be like the hive or the board. The Borg doesn't become like you. The Borg doesn't take on, like, your aspects, your personality, or anything like that. No. You give up senses of yourself and yourself almost entirely, except for your body, in operating motor, motor skills. Do Borgs fuck? I don't know. I've never really paid that much attention, nor has that question ever popped up in my head. But I never really thought about that. Before. Like, you know, um, the Borg take who you are and you become just like them so it's just kind of like that's the problem with this person it's like um it's like they're they want to assimilate but they're they can't like there's no victory in it it's not I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's just the fact that they can't do it I just don't think that like uh they're incapable of losing who they are at least that's what I'm getting Okay, so. Like, is someone only with somebody because of potential? Like, do you even like the person? <laughs> like, that's the real question. Um, do you even like the person? Because I feel like this is a real old relationship, too, since there's, like, there's so many kings out here. There's even knights. I'll even take knights. There's two fucking bitches in one fucking set. They're... I'm sorry. I just heard something in... reading and I could just completely forgot what the fuck I was talking about for now. Oh, oh, oh. This person. I don't know what the fuck they're for. Anyway, this person, right? Do you know, like, do you like them? Do they like you? You know, because, like, you know, if they're putting effort in, okay. If they're not doing anything, 
They're not showing you any attention or any of that shit. Should you really waste your fucking time? Only, are they only sticking around for what they get from you? Because that bothers my sense of self, you know. It, 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 you know, it would be different if, like, they did little things or just something or, or showing some appreciation. I feel like they don't really do that. Someone must be doing something or playing something. Maybe that's kids. That sounds like it's in the room. Anyway. Fears and rejections, because this is going to be long. I've got spices one, too. Yay. Um, well, it's all I got anything to do just yet. Anyway. King of Pentacles with this chick who gathers moss. This, I don't know, forest witch or whatever, right? Might have potential. Um, hi. I want to say spoiled brat. That was the first thing that, mm, definitely could be a water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could be you, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You might be being a spoiled brat with this person, or maybe expecting them to do more than what you want them to do, or some shit like that. Or maybe that's how they feel about you, you know, like, I'm letting the work shit out, because like I said before, there's a lot of fucking trash in the seat, and this home seems like an opportunity, but it also seems like whoever's supposed to be in control just throws shit away, or expects other people to take it over for them. Hmm? Mm. You might be, like, cursing out the danger. Just being like, I'm not going into that shit. You can go into that shit. I ain't going into that shit. Someone might be a little bit spoiled because it seems like a little bit difficult. Or there might be no feelings because it seems difficult to handle. It's fear of rejection. Like, they can see the disaster, but they're not doing anything about it. They're just standing there. Like, let's see. Like, we didn't if they were going to face it, but they don't want to go into, like, a danger zone. Because that actually might cause this relationship to, like, end. That's what they're afraid of. Like I was saying before, if they're actually putting in the effort in this relationship, okay, I can understand, because, you know, let's get heartbreaking. Um, dude, though, If they aren't putting in the effort, then, like, mm-mm. But someone's going to war, or someone wants to go to war, someone wants to go on the attack. Someone's just not internally screaming anymore. Someone's just, mm. Someone could get out of the situation, but they want someone else to save them. That came out sideways. <laughs> um, someone isn't sure they can get rescued. I'm putting that back. Very rarely that happens. Ah, uh, shit starts out in. Somebody is crazy because these two bitches just can't get along or whatever. They're both fiery for the wrong chaotic energetic reasons. Um, they, like, it might be time to act separation, possibly. They might not have been the best pair. Mind you, the Queen of Swords is in reverse, so she might just be fucking crazy. Or just doing shit out of fear or just he's consuming her emotions and she can't control them anymore. That's why she's not being logical. Yeah, I picked that one. I touched it. We'll take this one too. Hmm. This relationship, whatever it is, Gardner Crosswalker, it might not work out because someone is not taking control the way that they should, and they can see that that's self-sabotaging energy. Someone isn't taking control of the situation. Like two people have to separate because, like. Someone isn't doing what they're supposed to do. And then looking back on that, maybe on our next eclipse, someone will actually, whoever this is, will realize the separation happened because of self-sabotage. You know, like, that's that dude's armor. No way he did it to him, he did it to himself. And it's like during an eclipse, he realizes, you know, oh, shit, this was my fault. Or at least that's how it's going so far. I mean, it's still clear. Patience. Oof. Someone's waiting. So 
I'm always waiting for these Sagittarius to go to war, or to have some worms, or have a fight. <laughs> How's that gonna work for you, man? I don't think that's a good idea. That's that's not a good idea. That's not. No, don't don't do that. You, you like don't be going and screaming at people. Like that doesn't work. And when you yell and you scream at people, it makes them think that like you know, you're so passionate about it, you might do something violent. And at least that's how I would pick it up. It's just like, I, like I don't know. I've never been good with like yelling and shit. And like fucks with my nerves. And well, at least it used to. Not so much anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, someone wants to be saved? Or maybe they were saved because, like, they don't get along with this bitch no more. Um, it's like, because they can't agree to disagree, both of them are halting shit up to where, like, neither of them are getting a victory here. It's like... Ooh, there's crazy bitch right there. She's all nutty. She's all nutty. Because her intuition's kicking in. It's going to be with the Pisces. Like, she's been on a fucking trip with her fucking options. Because, like, Emperor dude keeps staying fucking reversed. He's been reversed. This entire time. Being like somebody's pet. Might walk away leaving someone feeling like la 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 the king of pentacles. That's my self-sabotaging card right here. He might... Hmm... Whoever walks away, the person who's left behind is going to feel like they were the reason why this shit went down. Like, for reals. Like, this King of Pentacles right here, Capital Force Virgo, um, they feel like they self sabotaged everything. And then they're going to try again. But they're not really offering the Pentacle. And then there's a fucking fight. <laughs> then they land a swing. It's like they reel someone in just to punch them right in the face. That's fucked up. Uh, wait, it's like someone wants to argue about it. And it's just like, what's there to argue about? There's nothing to argue about. Mm. This emperor is a douchebag. Who isn't gonna say what they need to say? in order to parlay the situation because once again someone wanted to be saved but now they don't like the fucking bitch so everything that either of them do is just causing either of them to have a victory and it's nothing but excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse so whoever is acting in this emperor masculine whatever fuck, fucking douchebag energy I don't really don't care and they know exactly what they're supposed to do they're just not doing it they're not going to say what they need to say. They're not taking the action to actually have any control in the situation. It's kind of like, um, they just want to be blind to what can possibly happen. And that pisses her right the fuck off 